What is going on, you fine folks of the interwebs? And welcome back to my channel. You are watching The Retro Slasher, and I'm bringing you a brand new episode of Body Count. That's right, Body Count the series on my channel, where I review one random slasher any year, any decade, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, doesn't really matter. Or, of course, the current year we haven't been, which is 2015. So, if you haven't figured it out now, we're reviewing a 2015 slasher film. I must say, 2015 has turned out to be a great year for slasher films. Um, lots of solid ones, a few bad ones. Uh, but just really, really makes me excited to see that the slasher films are still alive and still, people are still bringing them, pumping them out, man. Um, and who knows, down the road, things that have been announced and things that look like they're coming out. Could be an interesting time if you're a slasher film fan like I am. Uh, so, in 2015, brought to you by Slasher Studios, I bring to you, of course, the film Dismembering Christmas. Yes, now you might be wondering and asking yourself, why the hell is he watching a Christmas themed horror film in the middle of November, two weeks away from Thanksgiving? And my answer to that is, who the hell cares what time of year it is? I really, really wanted to check this film out for a long time, ever since it got announced. Um, so it's finally here. I finally got a copy of it. And I'm going to review it for you guys. Um, so, as always, I start off with the plot. So let's hop right into the plot of this thing. Real simple. Won't take long. Uh, basically, this is about a group of seven or eight friends. Uh, one character's name is Mark. They decide to go to his um, stepfather's cabin for the weekend. In the woods, and of course, when you go to a cabin in the woods in a horror film, some bad shit's bound to happen. But during the story of this film, they um, decide they I mean, not decide they learn that a murder took place in the cabin that they're staying in, and, um, and of course, somebody or something or whatever decides to seek vengeance on these group of young adults here in this cabin and starts picking them off one by one. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's set during Christmas, if you haven't guessed by the name of the title. They decide to go there away from Christmas. So yeah, that's the plot of this thing. Not too hard to follow, pretty simple. Now let's get into the positives on this thing. There's a bunch of positive things to say about this film. Uh, the first good thing you will notice about this film is the music. From the opening scenes of this film, the music is just amazing. Uh, just really great Christmas type music man uh, of course it's a Christmas film so there's gonna be Christmas music in it but it's just so well done uh, really really makes you appreciate Christmas music a little more how beautiful it can be uh, or dreadful in the likes of these characters but it just goes with the movie so well and the right scenes it comes up and everything is just paced so well with the movie the music okay another positive thing um, of course, it's the thing a lot of people watch these type of films for, is the kills. Um, as I said, there's seven or eight main characters in this film. Uh, there's a couple extra side characters, so that leads to a pretty decent body count. I believe there's nine kills in this film, which is a pretty decent body count for a modern slasher film. Usually these modern slasher films have like four or five kills in them, which is like, what the fuck, man? Step up the body count. Uh, but it is what it is, uh nine about nine kills in this film pretty solid man um now as to the kills themselves there's nothing special about each of them they're pretty well done they're all practical effects and um, not too much gore or blood or anything like that but it's a low budget film i didn't want to expect too much of that but there's one in particular kill in, um, that really stands out though i uh, kind of pays homage to another christmas themed slasher film and that is uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. If you've seen that film, um, there's a kill in that that I really, really do enjoy. I'm not going to spoil which one it is, but when you see it in this, you will instantaneously write, them son of a bitches copied it from Silent Night, Deadly Night. Which I don't have a problem for. I kind of always enjoy when another film pays homage to another film of the past. Just makes you realize, like, these people really love what they're doing. So... Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, they kind of switched it away, switched it up the way it happens, but... Uh, it's pretty much the same idea of that kill from Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, yeah, um, so another positive thing about this film, I must say, is the atmosphere. The atmosphere, like I said, 
with the music. Uh, it just goes so well with it. it. Creates a great feeling to it. But just the setting and everything, and the Christmas feel to this film. Um, the snow backdrop in the woods and everything. So beautiful, beautiful cabin. Um, all the beautiful Christmas lights and decorations. Just creates a really, really cool, great atmosphere. Um, something a lot of films nowadays lack, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so atmosphere is great. Um, now, as to the characters and the acting and everything, the acting is not the best. It's pretty low budget. Some spotty sp spots in it, but it's decent at best. Um, it's not nothing cringeworthy or anything like that. It's decent. Um, now, as to the characters itself, they're all pretty likable. There's not, nothing to really hate either one, any of them about. Um, you know, some characters suck nowadays in films. Uh, I feel like you like all these characters and you really don't feel bad for any. I mean, you don't want any of them to die. Um, yeah, so decent characters. Now, a little bit negative thing to say about the characters. I, might be just me, but I kind of got confused by who was dating who and who was whose brother and who was whose sister, you know, things like that. That might just be me and my lack of paying attention to that part of the story, but not a big deal, minor detail. You might be confused too, who knows, but it is what it is, small detail. And, um, the only other negative thing about the characters, I wish there was more development with them, like, like so you got to know them a little bit more. Huh? I mean, like, there's a bunch of characters, so it's hard to explain each one, but I kind of wish they got into depth a little bit behind their backstories a little bit more. But like I said, it's a low budget film. I expect no um, award winning script or backstory to each single character. So, another, yet again, another small little negative thing about it. Um, another really, really good thing about this film, I really enjoyed the end of it. It's, it's pretty well done. I will not spoil it for you or anything else in this film, but. It's a really, really great ending. I loved how they ended this film. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all the positive things I got to say about this film. Now, let's get into the negative. Um, one negative could kind of also be a positive, too. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this film, I wish there was more of it, man. <laughs> I wish I could see more of it. Like like I said, that you could take that as a negative or a positive. Um, I didn't want to lump it in the positive, like, why why would you want to see more? Um, the pacing and everything's well done. There's nothing wrong with that part of the film. I just mean I wish I could see more kills. This, they're fucking, this movie's fucking amazing, man. I really did enjoy this film. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the things I have to say about this film. Now, let's get into ratings and recommendations. If I had to rate this film, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10, man. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend you pick this up um, if you're a big fan of slasher films, if you like Christmas horror, any of those things, you will like this film, trust me. Um, yeah, so go out, right, go out right now, pick this film up. Uh, support Slasher Studios, man. They do a really, really great job with their films. Um, their previous film, their first featured film, uh, Don't Go to the Reunion, was amazing. I really enjoyed that film as well. I uh, made my top 15 favorite modern slasher films. Um, and... This is a great follow-up film. Um, so I say go out there and support them. Help them make more films like this. Um, imagine what they could do with a, more money if you buy their films. A bigger budget, better casting, and better effects and everything. I could just imagine what they could do with more money. So please support them. Uh, we'll support them with anything they put out. I enjoyed both their films so far. So yeah. Enough rambling on about that. That's my review of Dismembering Christmas. I say check it out. Great film. 8 out of 10. Now, in this part of the video, you know the deal. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you've seen this film or you want to talk about it or anything, leave your comments down below. I always respond for the most part. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, another little heads up. I got bunch of bunch of videos planned especially with evolving body count there's just tons of slasher films they're going to be hitting out within the next two weeks or so so look forward to those and i will see you guys next time with a brand new video peace